Hello everybody, Dave and Wendy here from Be, Do, Learn, Have, Live. And we are now into 2018 May. And with that, I will let Wendy take you on this journey. Hey, okay, so in May, we went to, well, I went to my first MMI, Millionaire Mind Intensive, which is the flagship course that T. Harv Ecker came up with as the first stage of the funnel for the Success Resource America programs, which is also used to be called New Peaks and probably something else I think before Peak that. potential is part of that. Yeah. So this is my first one. Um, I was very curious about it because Dave had had his first one way back when, which is what started a lot of this all off. And I was curious to go and see it. And also my confidence level had increased a lot within the last six months even. So it was phenomenal. And I can't say much about it because what you learn in the group is, is part of the learning and you don't what you learn in MMI stays in MMI. Yeah, basically, yeah. So and it was it was great. The the <clears throat> courses they offer are great. Actually I think they're a pretty darn good price. About approximately ten thousand for a lot of courses and things like that. So that's actually a really good good deal. The activities that we did were very useful. Uh, you learn about how you think about how you have thought about money and how you can change your thinkers about money. You learn if you're a, a saver or a spender and you really have to dig deep in just to figure out some stuff and what you learn about when you're a kid growing up thinking about money as well. Uh, also for me, in respect to comfort zones, I was in between every break, there's people dancing on the stage and I was up there quite a lot of the time. Both of us were up there dancing on the stage, which is something you wouldn't have seen me doing about, I don't know, nine months ago, whatever. It was, it, it's crazy. I'm a completely different person now in that respect, but just, Getting the energy up and just really changing the, as they call it, a state change, just standing up, dancing, high-fiving people. It's it's really good just to get the, the learning in because we all learn differently, visually, auditory, kinesthetically, and what's the other one? Bars. The there's the other one. Anyway, there's another one. So, and I actually learn by listening, but also I also learn by doing too. So it, it covers all the different learning styles that they do in, in the group. So, and it, the whole weekend is culminated by a fantastic thing, a fantastic activity, which you shouldn't miss. Our coach actually went down with us and he missed the last part. And unfortunately he missed the best part. So I do recommend you go to the MMI. They're just fantastic. There are, I think there's, only offering them now in Toronto, Montreal, and Canada, and they're all over the States, so... Oh, no, well, not only Toronto. Well, they'll, they'll, they'll do Vancouver as well. Vancouver, yeah. Uh, but yeah. it's certainly worth going to, and I, I, I broke a lot of barriers, too, for that particular course. We had some people come with us as well, some friends come with us, too, and they just thoroughly enjoyed it. And we're actually planning on taking our kids as well, because we, as in the last video we talked about, we signed our kids up for the doTERRA uh, package as well. And I've, we've suggested that before their money starts rolling in, they do need to go and do an MMI as well, because it's a really important thing to learn about money. And the not normal way of you learn about money that, like Dave talked about in one of the first videos, is your mutual funds and all that sort of thing. It's it's diversifying your investments and, and collecting passive income as you're going through. And as Warren Buffett says, you need to, if you're not, if you're not earning money when you're asleep, you're, in, you're, just, you're just doing a job. Yeah. So... So that was that MMI, fantastic, totally recommend it. And it was Dave's second one and he really enjoyed it again. Yep, yeah, it be really prepared good. to push your comfort zones because yes. that's what you need to do to get a better life for yourself. Yeah, and to grow. Uh, so the MMI is based around the thought process, the mindset of the rich and the wealthy is sort of the, what it's played on. And it does go into money, the history of money. And the jar uh, system. As the we jar system. As well as a number of sort of spiritual-ish type aspects around that you hold around money, and they, mm -hmm. they have your four different types of spenders and stuff. So it's it's a very good thing. We're not going to go into a whole lot of detail of it because we don't want to ruin it for you. But just be aware that you will be pushing your limits. You will feel uncomfortable at some points, even if this is a, a second time around. <laughs> There's a lot of good learnings, uh, good information there, and it doesn't really cost you anything. Uh, and if you're right in the area, it really does cost you nothing. If you're from out of town, it's going to cost you a hotel for a couple of days and, and food, which you then say, okay, you know what, this is a treat for me and perhaps whoever I'm going to go with and we can also have a time to relax and settle and just do something different. So mm -hmm. 
uh, at the very worst side of things, if you don't really get any of it, you're getting yourselves a few days away from where you normally would be, which is a huge deal. Otherwise, you're going to get a lot out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, what else happened in May? My book was officially published in May. So we'll show that again because, hey, I've talked about it. So <laughs> this is the book on personal development, Three Stages of Growing Yourself, written by me, Dave Smythe, your author. This is available on Amazon all around the world. <laughs> Selfish plug. Um, <laughs> June. Okay, June, yes. So we're, this is June 2018 now. We're jumping uh, up a month or so. We've actually got back to work for a little bit and we've we now just spared off. <laughs> we went off again to the GMP. So this is our Global Mastermind program with Success Resources once again in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. And this is actually not very long ago now. No, a couple of weeks ago. Three but weeks. But that was yeah. an awesome event. Another I'll good let event. Wendy take a little bit more yeah. of this. Pretty much the same as last time, we did the masterminding split up into groups. It was a smaller group this time. Oh, and I forgot to mention the last time, we also have mentors coming in to speak. So the one in March, we had Ken and Kerry Courtright come in to speak to us. And they are phenomenal. They run the income store. Um, we listen to his podcasts in the car a lot. Just the amazing, amazing people. They're just very, very knowledgeable and very wealthy. So they sat in on some of our mentoring things. So this time we also have mentors as well. So we had somebody from Yeah, Laughlin and Associates. Yeah, and we just had different mentors who come in and do a speech and then they'll come and sit in on some of the, the mentoring or the masterminding groups as well. Again, we did um, a business build and we also had some days out. So the first day we actually went for a private tour of the Alamo, which is really interesting, a really good tour. And we also went on a riverboat cruise one night because San Antonio's got this nice river walk and the nice meandering route for, for boats to go down. So we went for a lovely cruise as well. And it was just another really good time. We met more friends, connected with more people and also talked about oils to people as well. But a lot of people in the group are actually on oils because they see the value in it as well. So the more, more GMPs we're gonna go to, I think the less people will be able to talk to because they'll already be signed up. <laughs> And that's just them seeing the value and the opportunity in it as well. So what did you think about San Antonio? Yes, the river walk was amazing. That was actually a super treat for me to go literally right outside the back of the hotel straight on. In fact, the river actually ran through the hotel. It was uh, pretty cool. <laughs> we stayed at what the Hyatt Regency. Yeah. Uh, the river walk itself, it is Miranda. They have those little boat tour things that go around, but the, the whole side of it is, is covered in, in restaurants, food places, stores. It was it's just nice. a hubbub of, of everything. It was very nice just to walk in along this river thing right downtown and you wouldn't expect that and that was really awesome. Mm -hmm. The Alamo was quite unique and it was actually interesting to have a, a very special VIP tour late at night so there was no one else. It was only open to our little group which was pretty yeah, cool. Was cool. Yeah. So that actually gave us a, another perspective on it and we got probably a lot of good information out of the tour guide. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we got any more than the regular crowds would have done, but it was it was pretty cool. So we certainly enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Meeting the new people there, yes. Uh, we had four mentors. I can't remember all of them. Uh, Aaron Young was the guy from Laughlin Associates. We had uh, Ken, and, Ken and Carrie's brother there, Billy Courtright. Uh, we also had a, a Randy, Randy, and I can't remember his last Tate. name. Randy Tate? No, I don't think that was no, his okay. last name. So I, think, I thought it began with D, but anyway. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> And there was someone else who I, it's just completely gone out of my head. Oh, you know, we, he was a uh, Ty, Jason Ty. Oh, yes. Tyne, sorry. Yeah. Uh, was there. So, um, so that was great. And for our, our give back day this time, we actually ended up building, it was a rock and roll event. So we built wheelchairs and guitars for veterans in the area. And because of when this event was going on, it was very close to uh, Independence Day in the U.S. So they were all going around Independence Day themes as well as mm -hmm. anything to do with sort of veterans on that front. And that was a pretty cool event good. to build those up. And then we had to make up songs and sing those at the end. It was it was kind of a, a fun, crazy Another sort of day. Another comfort zone stretcher. Yeah. And a comfort zone stretcher, yes. Mm -hmm. You had to learn how to work differently in teams. We had uh, limited on what we could do and where we put our skills to use and stuff like that. So it was yeah, that was another pretty cool day mm -hmm. and nice to know they're going for a good cause and a good reason as well. So mm -hmm. we certainly appreciate that. So we've and got GMPs coming up in September in Chesapeake Bay and in December, no, November, we're actually going to Hawaii, which is uh, nice. one that we 
in fact I had on my vision board mm, probably about last October that I wanted to go to Hawaii and it was originally going to be with Bob Proctor's 1% Club which is 60 grand each and we can't, can't sway that just yet but we're still going to Hawaii anyway for the GMP so as Mary Morrissey says sometimes what you look for it doesn't always come in the way you expect it to come and it's still Hawaii so I don't care that's basically it but I think we'll do one more we'll do the next video now so I think we'll yep. sign off from here and we'll get you up to date from June until now which is July 18th 17th something like that and uh, we'll see you in a minute bye all right see you on the next one